Hello guys, this is Matt and welcome to another optimization video. This time we have the long anticipated Dead Space remake. I am very sorry for the delay guys because I just had to experience the original Dead Space and create my own detailed review for it before I dive into this remake. Link for my review will be provided down below. Anyways guys, this remake is just excellent. Yes, the game has its technical problems with stuttering during the transition to new areas, but I think the graphics settings do a great job in providing ample performance, at least for me. Please take note of my specs down below so that you can tailor your own expectations for your own hardware configurations. This test will be at 1440p resolution. Let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. First things first, let's get the unimportant settings out of the way. These are light quality from ultra to medium, and then shadow quality. This is because tweaking these settings will not give you substantial performance benefits and will only damage image quality. So I really recommend keeping these two settings, light quality and shadow quality, at ultra. You can tweak light quality down to low, but this just destroys the atmosphere provided by light sources. So please, just keep these two settings at ultra. Next, we have reflections. And this is the weirdest visual element to me since the reflections that you are seeing kinda look shimmery and distracting. Turning them down to medium removes the distracting artifacts, but it makes the image look flat and dull, at least to my eyes. However, you do get a performance boost for this one, so I will just leave this to you. Take note guys that ultra and high reflections perform the same, while medium and low also perform the same. So if you want to see reflections, just choose ultra. But if you find this distracting in any way, only use medium. Let's move to volumetric lighting because this is the most fascinating setting for me. Not only is this the most intensive setting when used on Ultra, but setting this to low still looks surprisingly good. This means that tweaking this setting can give you the biggest performance boost while still preserving image quality. Take a look at these comparisons. Yes, Ultra does look more stable and more complex, but I think low still looks very good without the usual crawling artifacts we would expect when using a low volumetric setting. Now let's try to move around and engage the camera which would usually reveal these volumetric artifacts. To be fair, when you look closely, there is definitely some color banding and the shadows are somewhat less pronounced in low compared to the ultra setting, but when you're playing the game, this degradation in quality is very hard to notice. Now, when you move indoors, low volumetric lighting does show more crawling and shaking artifacts around light sources, so you can go medium if you want. But for me, I can recommend low for this one since the performance benefit you get is very substantial compared to the visual trade-off. Next we have ambient occlusion and this is a very simple decision. Just use SSAO for this one, RTAO does improve the accuracy of light occlusion between objects such as this area within the item box and the creepy doll where the darker light occlusion is generated but since the game's overall lighting is mostly dark, it is very hard to notice these nuances. So just use SSAO and enjoy a healthy performance boost. And that's it guys, it is that simple. To recap, starting from the ultra preset, just set volumetric lighting to low and ambient occlusion to SSAO. Now, let's see how the ultra presets compare to our optimized settings during this intensive initial gameplay section. Can you notice any visual difference? If you still want more performance, I can recommend quality DLSS or FSR, but I personally do not use them since it makes those reflection artifacts more pronounced and they kinda introduce additional blurring to the image quality. Just using our optimized settings is enough for me. 
I hope this video helps you out guys. Please feel free to share your experience down below and if I missed anything, also share your findings in the comment section. Once again, take care and bye bye.